then num and then dot uh, i hope you guys know that with the help of dot hey guys welcome back in the another video of collection framework in java so uh, in the previous video uh, we have seen that how we can create a a type of array list so that we can assign only a single type of data in array list for that we need to pass our generic type in the array list so now in this video we are going to see that how we can retrieve element from array list so the topic of this video is retrieval of element in array list so now we need to go on our editor so uh, in the last video in the last video uh, we uh, we uh, we have seen that how we can create a type of array list uh, and assign element and then print the element so in the previous video we created two type of array list first one is a string second one is an integer and now we are going to retrieve the element from these two array list <coughs> so uh, in the previous video or uh, in the previous video not uh, in in the starting or uh, in, the, in the in the in the theory of array list we learned that the array list is index based so what does it mean uh, if you uh, if you learn about the array then you will get an idea like what is index based it's just an address of element in the array list so now we are going to access the element according to the index so like uh, yeah, if i'm talking about this num array list like uh, in the num array list we have two elements like 7 and 8 so the index value of the 7th element is 0 and 8th element is 1 so in the same manner uh, it moves forward like if we have third element in this list like 9 then the index value of 9 is 2 so now we are going to access this element 7 particular seven or particular a single element from the list just write this out and then pass message like uh, it's an out output of int or output of num l num list so for that we need we need to have the object of array list which is here is num then num and then dot uh, i hope you guys know that with the help of dot we are able to access the objects from a particular class or particular class object then put get like see it's a uh, show some suggestion like uh, it's a get method inside the get we need to pass the index and the index type is integer So from num we need to print only seven, and seven index value is zero. So we just need to pass here zero. And same thing we are going to do with this al string object. Oh sorry, al array list string type object. So from the al we are we are going to access this char element. Again write this out. Then I'm not going to write again again. Just copy. Paste it here and modify like output of al array list. Then again plus we need to write the object name which is al and then dot and then get and the index value of this char is one. Now it's time to run the program or run the program and see the output. how to see the output of num array list is 7 and the output of yeah output of num array list is 7 and output of al array list is char so in this manner we are able to get a particular element from the array list
so that is about the retrieval of element from array list so in the next video we are going to see the next method of the array list thank you